Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce cellular and nuclear. So first of all, cellular has a bit of a challenge because it has a hidden sound in it. And actually that's the theme for these two words that they both have this y sound um, this glide in them. So sometimes words with the letter U just say OO, sometimes they say U, and we don't have a consistent way of spelling this. It's also different in American accent versus other dialects of English. So this is talking about the American pronunciation of these words and this, gl this gliding Y sound. Cellular is also difficult because it has L's and R's in the same word, which can be challenging for many speakers. So first of all, the, f the word cellular is stressed on the cell syllable, and letter C says the S sound. We have the E eh red tent vowel. So it's just like the word cell as in to um, sell someone something, or also we often call cellular phones just cell phones. Um, that's easier to say. Um, and then when we get to the middle syllable, here we have the letter U, but we have two sounds. We have the glide Y, and this letter U says the uh sound here. That's because we're stressing on that first syllable, cell. So we don't say cellular, but rather cellular, cellia. This vowel gets reduced to more of an uh sound or vowel schwa. And then lastly, the letters AR in cellular say the ER sound, er, rather than an R sound. So we spell this er at the ends of words, sometimes with AR, ER, OR, lots of different ways. It's still that tight back American R, er, but I don't have any vowel, extra vowel sound before it. It's not a diphthong. Um, to build this word cellular, there's a couple of techniques I would suggest. One, Break it down syllable by syllable, saying it slowly and speeding it back up. That would sound like cellular, cellular, cellular. Another would be to build this one from the back. Just because that LR combination can be challenging, that would sound like saying er, lur, yulur, cellular. Um, you can play around with it, see what is giving you the most challenge. It might be the order, it might be the spelling, it might be those R's and L's, but working on them separately and then putting it all together is usually going to help you be more smooth and easy, uh, say this more smoothly and easily in your everyday speech. Then looking at the word nuclear, we don't have that um, same yellow um, pronunciation it in it. Um, instead, in the beginning, we have the letter U says the OO sound. So I've written it here like the word new. You could also envision it like this. We don't want new here. That uh, would be more British English to say new versus new in American English. And then um, this looks like the word clear, but in nuclear, it's three syllables. The clear is two syllables. So we have first syllable stress, new. Then we have clear. So there is a little bit of a glide there. I don't have to make a strong y sound in nuclear. Um, just notice that when you go from the e to the er, e er, e er, there is kind of a bit of a gliding sound in there. And the reason I write it here with this glide is that I don't want it to sound like nuclear. I don't want this to be uh, just one syllable clear. I want it to be clear, clear. And so we have to break that to make it two syllables. We glide between the E and the ER, and it gives us a little bit of a natural sounding your nuclear. Um, so don't exaggerate that Y too much, but make sure that you're gliding and connecting without reducing or dropping either of those vowels. Not ear, but ear, ear. Um, when you can say nuclear and cellular by themselves, do try practicing them in some short phrases because you may find that even though you've mastered these words and these sounds, it can be challenging to bring it into your everyday speech. We tend to really rely on motor habits for speech. We can't be always thinking about what sounds are coming, how I'm gonna build this word, 
as we're talking, we just have to do it the way our mouth has learned to do it. So if you build up your practice from syllables, sounds, syllables, words, into phrases and sentences, it will come more smoothly for you. For example, you might say, there's a cellu cellular tower over there. I need a new cellular, cellular carrier. You see, I need some practice too. Um, there was a takeover at the nuclear power plant. Um, we hope there's not a nuclear problem. Um, great. Thank you so much for these requests. If you have a request you'd like to see me cover in our word of the day series, feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos, and I'll cover it in a future class. If you'd like more help for the basic building blocks, the sounds of English, accent error patterns, spelling, those sorts of things, check out our online courses on speechmodification.com. Our sounds of English course is a great foundation to help you pronounce any word you like in American English, and our American Accent six-week course will take it a little further and help you learn about your accent patterns and how to change them to be clear and well understood when speaking English. All of the courses are on speechmodification.com on our courses page. Thanks so much those of you who have subscribed to the channel, especially those of you who've joined as channel members. I really appreciate your support. Keep commenting, liking, and sharing the videos. It really helps support speech modification, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.